Now, big welcome for Jonathan. Thank you, Thank you very much uh, for the invite to come down. Um, a few uh, years ago, I started getting interested in the arms fair here. Uh, my, my background is as a, I guess my closest spiritual tradition is as a Quaker. My great, 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 great grandmother was Elizabeth Fry, uh, the Quaker hey. principal. I've just seen Tony. Hi, Tony. It's good to have you here. <laughs> uh, I gather you had. Four Quakers have sailing down from that bridge Yay! from Huddersfield. It's fantastic to hear. Uh, and yeah, I remember campaign against Clarion, and uh, you know they sponsor as well as this. They do the baby show, which is coming up in October here. Uh, and I see um, they do a new antiques fair in London, and it's so important to get to Clarion and to get it clear and to you know, remove their support. Uh, and we started doing that with uh, Simon Hill. Some people might know Simon Hill. He's been involved in CAT and he was working with me on a think tank in Ecclesia. So my, my interest in this goes back a long way. And I'm really proud that the Green Party is making a very principled stand, not just against the commercial arms trade uh, and export of uh, weapons to oppressive regimes, but to the commercial arms trade, full stop. Uh, it is wrong that we subsidize and that we export weapons around the world, period. That's the fact. And we need to be principled about that. Mm -hmm. And that's why we want to see Desai uh, closed down and we want to see you know it's great that the mayor Sadiq Khan has come out uh, and said he condemns the fair we will support him but we'd like to see him do something about it <laughs> as well. uh, so we'll be pressuring him and when you know we'll be I know you are inviting Jeremy down here Jeremy Corbyn down I really hope he does come down here and makes that stand as well because we need this to be cross-party this isn't about any party coming in and dominating we need to win that campaign on a cross-party basis um, so it's, it's wonderful to see so many people here today and I'm really um, thrilled actually to be have been invited down to support uh, what you're doing at the cutting edge here it is so important um see such a principled uh, stand against an industry which frankly is an industry that deals in death and to make that stand today that we can transform uh, this industry into something that gives life uh, something that can uh, on this day's theme about renewables you know it can, doesn't have to be a dying industry it can be a living industry something that contributes to tackling climate change it is quite possible to transfer the skills that's involved in the commercial arms industry and put them to use in something good. And that's what we have to do in terms of looking to the future of this country if we're going to lead the world. Um, clearly our government, my speech says our government has lost its moral compass. You know what, this government never had a moral compass. <laughs> um, and I want to thank each and every one of you today for showing the world. Uh, that Theresa May, Amber Wright, uh, Rudd, uh, Fallon, who was on the Today programme talking nonsense this morning, uh, don't represent the people of Britain. We represent the people of Britain here today. We are not alone in saying we don't believe uh, that our economy is worth the blood of children in Yemen. And let's remember what the real impact of this commercial trade is. We don't believe that war is inevitable. We believe in peace. We believe in prosperity for all. We believe in compassion and we believe in justice. And that's why you've all come together. That's why I'm here today to stop this arms fair. And make no mistake, I'm, I'm ashamed of this country. I am absolutely ashamed of this country. No other country arms the world like we do. Over the past decade, we've sold more arms than our neighbours in France. We've sold more arms than China. We've sold more arms than Russia. And two thirds of them are going to the Middle East, pouring, pouring fuel on a fire that is going up and getting ever higher. This has to stop. Yeah. Apart from the US, we are the biggest arms dealer in the world. Friends, is this what we want Britain to be known for? No. Is this what we want Britain to be known for? No. Is this the contribution that we want our country to make to this global community? No! Glad you said that. <laughs> I know we can be so much better than this. We can lead the world in shaping a peaceful and prosperous planet for everybody. And this is the vision that the Green Party has for this country, and I know this is the vision that you have for this country. We can transition to 100% renewable energy. We can take people out of the industry of death and use their skills to drive a renewables revolution and the revolution that this country really needs. The skills transfer straight over. Engineering, maths, science, technology. The same people who are making guns and bombs can be the architects of wind power, solar power, marine power, an industry we can be proud of. You know what, I, was, I switched on the telly last night 
uh, and I just happened to flick on uh, a Netflix film and it was talking about an unlimited source of energy. Wouldn't that be great? And I suddenly realised, you know what? We can have that. Yeah. We could have an unlimited, infinite source of energy, an industry we can be proud of. Don't believe a word of it when people say that we need the arms trade for the sake of our economy, for the sake of our jobs. It's a lie. We don't. There are far more jobs in the future of our energy system and we have the people with the skills we need to do it. So let's do it. It's about political choices. We can stop making weapons in this country and we can end all commercial arms sales. And let's talk about Trident. Boo. We can't really not talk about Trident. We can scrap dangerous, expensive abominations like Trident, which no matter what our government tries to tell us, makes us all less safe. Yes. And friends, I want other parties to join us, but right now the Green Party is the only party besides the SNP, which, <laughs> who I love dearly, which is committed <laughs> to scrapping Trident. Friends, at this very moment, the threat of nuclear war has never felt more real to me and probably to most people here. The reckless standoff between the US and North Korea is plunging millions and millions of lives into the shadow of mortal, deadly threat. The prospect of nuclear war is sickening and it's unnecessary. It would be a humanitarian disaster. It would be an environmental disaster. And the world looks on in horror while we have a government which allows this arms show and it's never been more of a fucking disgrace. Yeah. And you know what? There'll be people watching who are offended by the fact that I just said the F word. You know what's really offensive is this commercial arms trade here. Mm, yeah. That's the real offensive thing here. Illegal cluster bombs, torture equipment, guns for spraying bullets into children. The continued legitimization of war for the sake of illusory economic growth. If we allow this arm fair to take place, how can we expect to stop psychopaths from squaring up to war? How can we have any moral legitimacy on the world stage? You know what, quite frankly, how can our leaders sleep at night? Yeah. Coming here today to join your calls to shut down this arm fair, we are on the right side of history. This is our moment. It has never been more important to press for a total ban on nuclear weapons. It's never been more important to stop selling arms around the globe and fueling conflict. It's never been more important to come together to say that another world is possible. Friends, will we stand by and watch never-ending war? <laughs> will we stand by and watch companies profit from the murder of innocents? No. Will we stand by and watch psychopaths play with nuclear weapons? No. No. no, we won't stand by and watch. We'll take action. We'll take action for peace, like we're all doing together right now, today. Friends, it's so wonderful to be here with you taking such a principled stand against this industry of death and violence. Clearly, our government has lost its moral compass, and so I want to thank each one of you for showing the world that Theresa May and Amber Rudd don't speak for the people of Britain. Thank you very much. Thank you.